Let's talk about short rows. They are unnecessarily frightening to most knitters. A short row is just a way of knitting part way up a row and then turning and knitting back so that what you have are extra stitches on one side and not on another. They're great for doing things like creating a ruffle, shaping for darts, shaping for stuffed animals, all kinds of things that are useful. So let's not be afraid of them anymore and learn how to do them. One way to do them is just to knit up and turn around and knit back without doing anything else. When you do that, which I've done here, you get a hole in your work because when you just turn it around and knit back, as you can see, it creates a large hole. So a wrap and turn is designed to push those two stitches together. The hole is still there, but it looks better. So to do that, the principle of it is that you're taking this stitch off, wrapping this yarn around the back of the stitch, and putting this stitch back on. When you do that, that allows this yarn to hug as you knit back. No knitter wants to take a stitch off live and have it just dangling there, so here's how most people do a wrap and turn. What you do is you move the stitch over, and I go in in this direction, purlwise, to keep it facing the same way. Put the yarn wrapped around the stitch, and then pull the stitch back. That does your wrap, and then this is the turn. You turn around and continue knitting down the row. There's nothing more to it than that. And as you can see, now these two stitches are hugging together, kind of like two people being tied together in a three-legged race. And now we have fewer rows here than here, and we're good to go. There is nothing hard about short rows, so don't let them intimidate you anymore. Let's go make some short rows.